I still think of her and I still love her. Like she knows me, like she knows my heart. So just those few words, in my opinion, says a lot. In two years. Okay, guys. Now, this is like a lot of young people think this way. She obviously has a teenager mentality. But um, yeah, you're in the 30s now, girl. Grow up. This isn't high school romance. You don't fall in love in a minute. Um, you know, it takes years and sometimes decades to really know a person. And then... Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So Amber Lynn Reed has stuck to her schedule and she uploaded last night um, well, it was in the evening, and we're going to take a look at it today. Um, I haven't actually heard anything on this except for I just looked at the title, and she's upset about hurting her ex. Amber, which ex are you talking about? Are you talking about the most recent one, or are you going to finally cop to hurting all of them? I don't know. What do you guys think? Any predictions? Yeah, I know. It was a hope. It was it was a dream. It's not realistic. All right, guys, let's take a look. All right, so like I said, I regret hurting my ex, meeting new people, and Ross Hall vlog. Um, so we're starting the video seeing her ceiling. We have a different angle, though, because usually we see that light that used to be on, and then she didn't turn it on. So guys, we're at a different angle. We're more looking toward the wall. So the walls and the corner of the ceiling. I don't know guys, I I'm looking too much into this. Let's just play the damn video. Hey guys, it is January 5th. It is time to weigh in. Hello, it's ready. Okay, stepping on. 514.8. By 14.8. Okay. Which is about the same as yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. All right. So today was 514. Okay. So in five days, she's lost a pound. 0.8. So yesterday is very much. And just so you know, you guys know, you've been on diets. The first week of any diet is like the weight comes off rapidly. She is basically maintaining here. A. <laughs> oh boy. I was not on track. I was <sighs> on track all day long. And then nighttime hit and I let the cravings win. She needs to just go to bed. So that's what happened. So I am doing the. Play some Candy Crush, take a Benadryl, go to sleep. These daily weigh-ins, but every Monday, which actually works out perfect since we started on Monday, every Monday is going to be like my official weigh-in, and I'm going to say how much I lost in the week. Okay, you guys, yep, so there's the light again. 6th, time for another weigh-in. Hello. Hello. It's ready. It's ready. Thank you. 574.4. Oh my god! She hit the 13. More weight. Round of applause. Okay, so 513.6. Happy to see it. Yesterday I was on track great so saturdays and sundays sometimes fridays the weekend in general i feel like is the hardest for me to stay on track why what difference is saturday than tuesday to you what is the difference maybe because your people are home more maybe maybe not back um especially because I'm usually out doing things, um, so it's gonna be very interesting to see how I do. And then my official first weigh-in is coming up on the eighth, so I'm excited to see that would be how today. much I lose in the first week. 
I do plan on kicking it into more of like a high gear. I have had days where I have been off track, but I want to make that happen less. And even on the days where I am on track, I want to do even better than that. Hey guys, so it is super late at night, almost 2 a.m. Actually, just- Do you think she's ever gonna tell us her track? I don't know. She said, well, let her do it for a while. I don't know, coming up front and telling us what she's doing has never worked for her in the past. So I'm kind of glad she's keeping it, but now it's 2 a.m. See, that's what I mean. She should be in bed. She should have been in bed at 10, 11 o'clock. And you don't general unless you have one of those problems, <laughs> you don't eat <laughs> when you're sleeping. And what is around her neck? Yikes. Just got home. So today was a pretty long day. Um, I hung out with my mom. We went to bingo. And then we went to Ross, which I have a little haul that I can show you guys. But I went to like a get together type deal and I met my mom's boyfriend's boss who actually is super amazing and I loved it. And So she tagged along to her mother's boyfriend's work party. That is sad. And, and I'm, I don't know, it's just like a really- And I'm sure the boyfriend was just thrilled. Really good night and we played Cards Against Humanity mm. and it was just really fun. Um, I just wanted to check in and say I have been a busy bee all day. Like I didn't film anything. I guess I could have filmed at Ross, but uh, she's too lazy to do her job. Out. I don't want to get copyrighted like the whole nine. So, so my really quick Ross <sighs> haul is I got this new makeup bag because the one I have now is just like too big. I how many fucking makeup bags does one person need? Don't have a lot of makeup, um, but I use my makeup bag, so I just need to. So generally, when you need a makeup bag is when you travel. Okay. She ain't going nowhere. I have a basket in my bathroom cabinet, okay? It, it's not fancy. It doesn't need to be. I don't understand why she keeps buying makeup bags. I think that's obnoxious. The downsize. I got these two cute, adorable cherry cup sets. I don't drink tea, but I could drink other things out of here. And it comes with these super cute plates. I was like, my God, those are adorable. And if you got I thought she got into the I know Jade was drinking tea, but okay, fine. You know what? She has like nothing for cups and stuff and people come over. You know, when you host people, Amber, you're supposed to like offer refreshments. I don't know if that's a dead little, you know, tradition, but that's what we do in my family. Okay? But you guys know me, I do daily journal. So I saw this super cute Betsy Johnson journal. There was also two more, but they okay. weren't as cute as this. They were cute, but this one just is so freaking adorable. So I woke up with him laying on me. Oh, trying baby. to steal your breath. <laughs> I was horrible. Twinkie just sneezed and it scared him. There's a twinkers. Hi. It's like, oh, look at the cats. Big like, stretch. Get the fuck away from me. Big stretch. Is this your brother? Yeah. January 7th. Hello, hello. So I yesterday. should have my vlog up today. But I was so busy yesterday and I just did not. I don't know. I just was not productive at my job so i do apologize okay but i'm gonna try my hardest to get the video up today regardless of uh, what time okay anyways let's do the weigh-in let's do it hello it's ready i'm a little nervous about this i'm not gonna lie to you no lie to us 513.6 pounds okay 513.6 i'm actually very 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 relieved and happy with that so, as you can see, yesterday I was also 513.6. So, two pounds. So, in probably. my opinion, because of the party yesterday, they had food there. And I just feel like I didn't make the best choices I could have. But I didn't eat a lot of the choices that I chose, if that makes sense. So I guess that explains why I stayed the same. So overall, as a consensus here, 
I am proud of the progress that I've made so far because a week ago it consensus she didn't use that word correctly it would be weight gain weight gain <sighs> weight gain who weight cares gain, you're dumb gain. it would be a sad face on each one so progress is happening and that's exciting you guys i more times than not forget that i got this out of my nose pierced like i am constantly like oh whoops itching my nose or like you know like when you drive i'm thoroughly shocked it's not completely um infected off after the shower or like we were drying your face like you have the towel or my blanket and my sleep gets hooked on it etc etc so today by far was the worst it literally made my nose bleed i oh my god it hurts so bad so after i got out of the shower so this is an advertisement for us not to get our nose pierced got it I was drying myself. This happens a lot to people. This actually recently happened to one of my friends weeks ago. She also has her nose pierced, but I was just doing my normal thing. And normally like, cause this hoop, I've had it for so long. Like I could do whatever. It doesn't get hooked on anything. I don't know, like it just doesn't. But my nose ring got hooked on the towel so hard. <gasps> and when I tell you, I yanked. Why? Oh my gosh, I started bleeding. It was not cute, it was not fun. I have gotten people asking like, how's it healing? Well, <laughs> it was doing great. It was doing fantastic till today. Now it's like red, it hurts, um, it bled, but it was doing great. <laughs> like, I literally can't. Oh, and not that anyone cares, but update on my like Amazon drama that I've never really had problems with before until now. I was buying a new Lego, a new cutting board, and it came out to like $100. And it said like a problem occurred, like occurred. I can't deliver it to you. And I'm like, what even happened? So. Occurred? Uh, okay. It was like an overnight situation type deal. So like three days later, which was yesterday, I think, I decided to contact support because I was just like confused. Like, why wasn't it deliverable? Just cancel like, what it. What happened? Ask for refund. I could do? Like, what happened? Well, after talking to support, I guess the package was so damaged, they couldn't like morally deliver it to me. Like, it was that bad. I've never had an Amazon package show up like tore up from the floor up so that's crazy so i'm just gonna reorder it um i really want the polaroid lego so i'm getting that and then i saw another lego um it's like modern art or something i don't even know i'll show you guys when i get it but like i'm just lego obsessed what i've noticed i've always been a lego girly for years and years and years i would do anything to have like a whole lego room just like dedicated to that like living my best life like that how many bedrooms does she have? Doesn't she have two bedrooms? Hmm. You know, we've never seen it. She, I don't know. Does she even have an office set up? Okay. As a literal dream of mine. So, but I notice when I'm like on a new diet or I'm trying not to focus so much on like unhealthy habits, whether that be eating for emotional support, for comfort, because I'm bored, whatever it, is, whatever it is, I noticed that's when I'm like really diving into the Legos because I constantly need to be doing something with my hands. Plus it's just good for me to find other hobbies. Like I really wanna start scrapbooking again. I have a scrapbook, which I think I've showed to you guys like once. I really, really enjoy doing it. I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff, but it does remind me of my ex because we would do it together. It was something that we bonded over and it's just something- Wait, did I miss it? She scrapbooks? I do not remember that, guys. Maybe I just blocked it out, but I don't know. Can you imagine sitting there being over 500 pounds, maybe even 600, and just talking about the hobbies you want to do? And that we enjoy doing. I'm kind of like having a hard time with that because she has been so heavy on my mind as you guys so which one <laughs> becky destiny crystal uh casey which which um which x no and a lot of you are like oh my god why'd you message her like why'd you do that like would you say like i can't believe she's still not talking to you like that relationship must have been horrible because of like no like i've tried to explain to you guys 
multiple times that I hurt her after the breakup by choosing someone else oh, God. over her. And I kept- All right, guys, are we? do we really fucking believe that? Now come fucking on, Amber. Do you think we're all stupid? You think we're all as dumb as your fucking am babies? Come on. You're a fucking psycho narcissist, not a diagnosis. Doing that, and it's because I thought at the time I was making the right choice Ugh. because at the time I ultimately did fall in love with someone Jeez. else. There no, you fucking did it. I... No, you didn't. Just shut the fuck up about that. Keep Stop bringing it up if you're not going to be accurate. I wish I would have done oh, differently. God. And oh. I just, I think about her a lot because I love her. I still love her. I do. Like, that was my best friend. That was You don't even know what love is. I talk about her, I just wanna cry. So let's not do that. But long story short, literally, I just messaged her because she was so heavy on my heart. And literally all I said was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I hope you're doing well. It was just one of those. Just and she like, didn't reply, so I just let it go. I want her to know that like, I still think of her and I still love her. Like she knows me, like she knows my heart. So just those few words, in my opinion, says a lot. In two years. Okay, guys, now this is like a lot of young people think this way. She obviously has a teenager mentality. But um, yeah, you're in the 30s now, girl. Grow up. This isn't high school romance. You don't fall in love in a minute. Um, you know, it takes years and sometimes decades to really know a person. And then it could be, you know, 25 years later and you're still learning things about them. She does not know your heart. Okay, because you're a manipulative bitch. And I think the reason why she left is she couldn't be manipulated. She was strong. She was stronger than you. Okay, let it go. Heal yourself, girl. Go to therapy. Admit your problems. Okay, to yourself, to your therapist. Don't admit it here, but stop bringing this up. It's just so disingenuous. Not more than just what the few words Ugh. say, if that makes sense. I no. hurt her and I <laughs> I regret hurting her like more than anything. And it's like, I have apologized and obviously I wanted her to have that like closure knowing that. So, okay, don't forget guys, she was still having relations with wifey during the so-called love affair, okay? And if anything, buddy she hurt it was the new love interest okay because if i am speaking with somebody and we're kind of getting like to the point where we want to start dating um if i find out that they're sleeping with their ex i would be gone too and i would be very hurt that i was sorry and stuff but i just feel like after not speaking to her for months i just feel like with a more clear head i would love to talk to her and like no. Maybe just like be her friend. No. I know it's crazy. And I have gotten contacted by so many of you saying like, you guys have been in like the same position as me. So just know we are not alone. Losing like not. How old are they? Okay. Betcha anything. They're in their late teens or early 20s. Guaranteed. Okay. I'm going to get one of you saying I'm 64 years old and I fell in love in a day. Gotta watch too. Because when you're older and you're falling for somebody on Lime, 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 you gotta watch Scamfish um, or Catfish TV uh, because it's usually a scam. Nobody falls head over heels genuinely over the internet in a day. But like Karina Kaboom, I feel like saying, okay, there might be one of you who did that, but the betting odds, impossible. Not only like your lover and someone you thought you were going to be with forever, but like your best friends, like your favorite person, like especially someone with like BPD, she was like my everything. So to like lose that and especially because it's like ultimately like after everything's said and done, like it's my fault because that last little bit, me choosing someone else, it has been very hard. It, it's very hard and I know like I'm supposed to be going. The funny thing is, is if she didn't fuck up that new relationship, would we even be having this conversation if she was with the new relationship? The answer is no. Into the new year with like hashtag single land, like I got this glow up, like, but it's like, I can't help how my heart feels and my heart genuinely you can. just wants to speak to her. And I just- Also, this is a byproduct of her 
not moving on quickly, okay? They sat around, they fucked around for six months. I think that mind fucked her too. I don't want to hear about your BPD. I don't want to hear again about BPT until you're working on it, okay? It's called love, folks. It's called no. love. You know nothing. Some people asking, like, are you going to message her again? Like, no, I'm just going to leave it be. It's just stuck. Um, Block her. It's just one of those. Situations. Take her contact out of your phone, okay? So you won't be tempted. Situations where it's like, figured I would throw that out there, let her know, like, I'm thinking of her. And I obviously still love her a lot. Okay, you guys, so my perfume is looking scattered and messy. Like, look at all this. These don't even have a home. This is like a perfume stand that has no perfume on it. So I think it's time that I organize. See, I only bought these ones. Nobody knows the troubles she feels. Nobody, guys. Could you imagine? Holy shit, her perfumes are all over the place. How does she, how does she live like that? I mean, right? because a friend was like this is what i wear you should try it it's like uh what is it called azaro the most wanted honestly smells great but we're just gonna keep those there i want eilish to be the main focus so i think i'm gonna take a lot of these put them down there these somewhere up here i'll show you guys like a final at the end Okay. This is like a brag shelf because she's got her silver play button there too. Okay, <laughs> fine. Hey, I'll tell you what. If I had a, a YouTube silver play button, it'd be in every one of my shots too. But not my naked girly perfume collection because that's just juvenile. I did that when I was a kid. Okay, so here is like the miscellaneous, the one that- Except did I didn't have, have naked girls. And here is this one. Look how cute. Oh my God, if I had a naked girl perfume, oh boy, would we be not in a good place there with the, the whole family. Sorry, Rennie's barking. Rennie. She can't hear me, she's deaf. Oh. So I put them in order of the order that they were released. That's Eilish one, Eilish two, Eilish three. Yeah, an Olympic gold medal. Um order and then versace is my favorite versace literally though people are sleeping on the kardashian perfumes because both of these are incredible as well okay you guys so i'm actually about to go take out my trash and then i'm actually gonna go grocery shopping but i do want to end this vlog if i do end up vlogging anything else for the day i'll throw it in um my next vlog but it is very important that i get this up for you guys i hope that you hey amber did you buy water guys had a great weekend and i'll see you in my next video bye all right how are we doing here Twenty-two thousand views how's she doing on views we haven't looked in a bit uh 40 49 59 72 wow 56 65 okay Okay, she's doing good. 74. I mean, it's a far cry from 100,000, but, you know, I don't know. She has, what, 200,000 subscribers? Let's see. Um, 229. I mean, is that normal to get less than half? I feel like I get more than less than half views to subscribers, but okay, I'm thinking too much. All right, what are we saying? <laughs> I love reading the first comment. It's called love, folks. No, absolutely not. The height of selfish, it's the height of selfishness to blatantly violate Feline's boundaries because you can't cope with consequences of your own behavior. Stop blaming BPD. It's childish and narcissistic and abusive. Stop it. Exactly, 632 likes. You guys ever hear the, phone, the poem or the saying, if you love something, let it be. If it comes back to you, it was meant to be. No, if you love someone, let it free. If it comes back to you, it was meant to be. Yeah, she struggles with that. 
<laughs> this isn't about you, Amber. It's not about what you want. A part of love is respecting people's boundaries. Okay, let's see what the wrong shoes says. No, no, no. If she said, if she said she doesn't want to talk to you and she isn't responding to you, your attempts to contact her is hurting her. Stop it. There is nothing nice about what you are doing. Stop lying to yourself. You are doing it to fulfill a need for yourself and disregarding her needs. Please get a therapist. Hey, I don't understand why she doesn't have one. I don't understand why she couldn't just stay on with the one she had before, unless this some kind of like licensing issues. There are um, therapists that are licensed, I think in each state, even online, because I know when I was with Talkspace, I spoke to somebody in Michigan and I'm in Florida. So I don't understand. I don't get it. She's, is she really that busy to do an hour a day online? I, I don't know. An hour a week, excuse me, an hour a day. Jeez. <laughs> Amber, this isn't a movie. She's not going to be watching your videos. See how heartbroken you are and realize how much she misses you and come running back. She's asked you to stop. Yeah, it's just not a Hallmark movie, guys. We all know this. Narcissist Lynn just can't handle that she can't manipulate her way out of the consequences of her own actions. Exactly. All right, so I'm gonna end with this, although this is not a diagnosis, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a mom. But I'm reading this comment, this is not my comment. But it's pretty good. Everyone needs, everyone always says how immature she acts. I got curious and was looking up the traits of a narcissist. This is what I found which explains so much. They may look like adults, but they're not capable of operating like adults. Typically, narcissists operate in the emotional range of a middle schooler, 13 years old or so. Yeah, exactly. So people say, describes her and foodie beauty to a T. So foodie beauty's a different case. I, I'm not sure how narcissistic she, well, she probably is a narcissist, but Foodie has other issues. Like I literally think, again, not a diagnosis. She's like a psychopath, okay? I, I, yeah, mm-hmm. In Amber's, in Amber's case, she's intellectually 13 year old too. I'm a therapist <laughs> and Amber better fits the criteria for borderline personality disorder and dependent personality disorder, in my opinion. That's not a formal diagnosis, nor am I her therapist. I don't know much about BPD and until she starts getting help for it, I don't care. Don't let those words come out of your mouth until you're doing something about it. Um, now, oh, Ken's counseling couch. Yeah, I've, I've, seen messages from you before yay um well narcissism could could be comorbid then because she definitely fits the criteria for that as well okay we made it yay um another amberlyn reed react under our belt um you know <laughs> guys i don't i don't know i'm at a loss for what to say it's the same shit, different day but so is Alexandra Rodriguez. They all, they all have these circles. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm getting super close to 3,000, which would be awesome. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!